Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I want to share with you what to do if you have varicose veins. Now, I will tell you that most herbal remedies, most vitamins for varicose veins just don't work. I've tried so many different remedies and you just end up, it's expensive urine. It just doesn't seem to correct it. I'm going to show you what does correct it, but let's just first explain what the veins do. Now, veins carry blood from your extremities, your fingers and your toes, all the way back up to the heart, okay? So the heart pushes blood through the artery system, and then the veins bring it back to the heart. So it's a return blood flow. And one of the biggest differentiation from arteries to veins is veins uh, don't have the assistance of the heart as a pump, okay? So arteries can just take, allow the uh, heart to pump blood through the body, but veins need your muscles to contract to push the blood back to the heart. So if you're too inactive and you're not exercising and you're sitting all day, chances are you're going to develop some varicose veins or spider veins, okay? Now, there's other causes of varicose veins as well, especially from pregnancy. That's an estrogen problem. It's also when you have developing this baby, this huge uh, mass in your abdomen, you could cut off circulation. You can have the excess weight that puts pressure on these veins. And also you have the relationship between estrogen and the side effect. One of the side effects is spider veins or uh, varicose veins, okay? So that could be a situation too. So really the solution is to um, get out there and start exercising, okay? It's as simple as that. You want to start doing uh, walking, workouts on a consistent basis. Now, depending how bad the problem is, like some people have really bad varicosities or varicose veins that they might need to have those removed, okay? Because you have other veins that can take up the slack. But if it's a medium problem or it's an easier issue, um, exercise should handle it, but it takes like a year to two years to correct that. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, so that's one thing. Now for spider veins, that's a little bit different. Uh, you want to do the same thing, but one of the interesting things nutritionally that will cause a spider vein is excessive vitamin C. Now I'm not talking about the food-based vitamin C. I'm talking about a excessive ascorbic acid, which is synthetic vitamin C. So people that do grams of ascorbic acid actually create deficiencies in the other vitamin C complex. Normally, vitamin C has many parts to it. And so when you buy vitamin C from the health store, what you're really getting in most cases is a bunch of uh, synthetic ascorbic acid, especially if it's like 500 milligrams or more. Um, if that's the case, just realize you're buying something that's made from corn starch and sulfuric acid there's really no vitamin C in there. Okay, so they sometimes, I don't know who did this, but they changed the name of ascorbic acid to being vitamin C when it's really one little fraction of the vitamin C complex. The best uh, source of vitamin C is from food or food concentrates. Um, so you want to do a lot of vegetables and things like that. Okay, so if you want to correct spider veins, you just want a lot more vitamin C foods in the diet over a long period of time. Okay, and avoid any type of ascorbic acid, synthetic vitamin C. So what's your next step? Get out there, start walking, start exercising on a regular basis, and that will correct the pooling of the varicose veins. A normal vein, you have this straight shot, the blood returns back to the heart. In a varicose vein, it pools, the valves get loose, it becomes enlarged, and then you get pooling of blood, which could create problems with strokes as well. So we want to go from here to here, start exercising, start walking. I will see you in the next video.